What up YouTube, Darth Dub coming at you from a copy of my survival world where we are going to talk Blaze Farm. Okay, we're going to go ahead and build one of these guys. Uh, for instructional purposes, I'm going to go ahead and set this game into peaceful mode. That way we can get rid of those guys. Okay, for this build you are going to need 25 buttons, a trap door, you're going to need a chest, a hopper. If you choose an iron trap door, you're going to need a lever. Okay, I would suggest at least six stacks of uh, your easiest to find blast resistant block that a gas cannot blow up. Okay, because you're going to be in the nether. And that is it for this build. That's why I like this build so much. Uh, first thing you want to do, you want to find a blaze spawner. And you have to find first your nether fortress. But then once you've found your blaze spawner, you want to come over to it and you want to come out four blocks from there. One, two, three, and four. You want to do that on all sides. So now we're out four on all sides. Uh, I was wrong. You want to go out five and place a block, okay? Because the interior of this has to be out four. But the wall goes out one past that. So once you've got your wall out five from from the spawner we're gonna go ahead and go up I like to go up that high um, so two above the spawner you really only have to go yeah yeah two is probably good and you do not need a ceiling but I'm gonna place a ceiling too so once you've got those like that on all four sides we're gonna connect them up on all sides and make walls like this here Okay, so once you're at this part, let's go ahead and dig down one more from here. And we'll go ahead and extend the wall down one, too. Okay, so this is the area where your blaze can spawn in. Okay, so uh, we're going to have that clear. And we're going to drop the floor three more from here. So, one, two, three. And we're going to bring the wall down those three as well. This is the area where if there is a mob in this area, uh, specifically a spawn or a blaze, it will slow down the rates of that. There can be six blaze in this area before that will stop spawning altogether. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go. So we're going to want to drop them below this. Okay, we're going to go down three. They're too high, but they like to jump and so three gives them ample space to not interfere with with the spawning so one two three on all the floor and we'll bring the wall down to that level two okay so now that we're at this point what we're going to do is we're going to come all around the edges here we're going to take out every corner and replace it with our block and then we're going to remove all the other blocks on the same height level and then we're going to repeat the process. We'll take out all the corner blocks and replace them. And then we will remove all the center blocks. And we're going to repeat this all the way until we've got just a single block hole. Okay. So at this point, we're going to take our buttons. Okay. We're going to place three like that. And we're going to turn to the next side. Three like this. Next side, same thing. And next side, same thing. Now, these count as solid blocks as far as the mob tracking goes in Bedrock Edition. So the blaze will just walk right off. Okay? So what we're going to do is down at the next level, we'll place them here. And then turn around like that. One, two, three. And you'll notice we can't do three on this one, but we can still put one in the center there. And that's got all the blocks on those two height levels. Then we'll come down here, put one here, 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 and here. And then down here, we'll just place one there. And now we're going to go down two. Well, so only two. Okay, one, two, like that. And then that's going to be our, our floor right there. So now that we've come down... Two, this is going to be your kill chamber okay so we will go ahead and bring this out make a small room out of this okay so now that we've got our room what we're going to do is we're going to take out this block and we're going to place a hopper facing outwards so this direction 
and so you really only need one chest but I'm gonna make it a double chest right there like so I'll put a temporary block right here I'm gonna place my trapdoor there and take that block out I'm gonna put my lever there and flip it now you do not need this to be an iron uh, an iron trapdoor but I will say that in later versions of the game I have no idea whether or not uh, wooden trapdoors will catch fire so I'm just gonna go with an iron now so I don't have to change that later done all you have to do is find yourself your way back up and out which you really don't even have to do because you could just put your uh, your portal right down here if you wanted so one of the things that I like to do is I like to to bring a ladder up from from the room I like to bring it up along the side of this thing and I like to put fence gates or well actually not fence gates but uh, glass here and I would put a room around it so uh, gas can't blow up your glass and that's just so you can get a look inside you will notice that a lot of blaze hang out in there okay so I'm now putting the game into hard difficulty mode and you'll see that they instantly start spawning and it might take a while before one of them goes down there but they will continue to spawn and spawn and spawn and once that's to a certain point they can't help but fall down um, yeah I feel like that's a small price to pay for no redstone now one way you can make this farm a little bit more productive is you can go around this chamber and you can go out by three and you can make a square all the way around it and you can fill it in with useless blocks what that'll do is that will ensure that no other mobs come around and slow down your farm because there is a mob cap in the game okay and that can affect your farm if they get too close now and you can attack them from below like so or you can flip that there. see so they're they're aggroed they can't do anything about it alright so if you like this video go ahead and do me a favor hit that like button if you have not yet subscribed to my channel I implore you please subscribe I implore you <laughs> it's been real peace